Hey guys, so guys, here are the latest good news on the stimulus checks as of today, April 6, 2020. First thing first, the checks will be going out starting next week. So now, first thing first, let me say this again. If you already filed your 2018 or 2019 taxes electronically with your direct deposit information, you absolutely have nothing to do. You should be able to get your money starting next week. However, if you are not planning on filing your taxes this year, the IRS partnered up with Intuit and TurboTax. I'm going to put the link down in the description so you can register and enter your bank account information so you can receive your money. Now, if you're a social security recipient, you do not have to file a tax return to get your stimulus check. They will use the same information they have in file to send you the money. Again, if you're not required to file a tax return, the link is right down in the description. Use that link to register and put your checking account or saving account information so you can receive the money. For those of you who do not have a bank account, like I said last week, if you're waiting for a check, it will take months and in some cases, five months. I'll suggest that you get one of those free accounts so you can get your money as quickly as possible. So it's really up to you how much you need that money because we're looking at probably two weeks or months and could be up to five months, some has suggested. Just remember what they said, guys. They will send you a check at the last resort, but they absolutely don't want to send checks to people. They want to get it to you as quickly as possible. And the way to do that is to direct deposit. For those of you who filed your 2018 and 2019 taxes, but you did not provide your account information. They will be putting up that portal that we talked about like a couple of videos back in the next couple of weeks, at the end of the month, beginning of May. So you can go and enter your banking information so you can get your stimulus money. Hey, do me a favor, guys. Give this video a thumbs up so you can help more people watch it. Thanks. And also, I believe I already answered this question, but let me go ahead and answer it again. The stimulus money is not an advance. It's a rebate from the IRS. It's not taxable. And no, they will not be taking it away from you next year. Let me give you an example where that money can be taken away from you. For example, let's say 2018, you made about $70,000. $70, you filed your taxes. But this year, 2019, you made about over 100000 But you did not file your taxes yet for 2019. So they all base the stimulus based on 2018 taxes. So when you do file your 2019 taxes, you made over 100,000, so you wouldn't be qualified. So next year, 2021, when you do file your 2019, 2020 taxes, yes, in that case, they will take it away. And every other case, guys, the money is not an advance. It's a little bit from the IRS. You shouldn't worry about it. Couple other ones you guys had. I believe I already answered them, but here we go again. If you owe money to the IRS, yes, you will still get your stimulus check. If you're behind on your student loans, yes, you will still get your stimulus check. The only debt, according to the bill, that will keep you from getting your stimulus check, that's if you're behind on your child support. And that's if your state has already reported it to the IRS. I just got an update on the EIDL loan. That's the $10,000 disaster advance SBA loan. I, I need to read through it so I can do another video for you guys. But uh, from, what I, from what I'm seeing, a lot of you guys going to be a little disappointed. And as always, guys, thank you. Thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset Realty, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my next videos. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.